everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video you guys are going to get to see roku my fire skink exploring the new enclosure that i built and it is the same size as roku's previous enclosure but it has a diy background more substrate a couple different items and new plants so it's it's a definitely a different enclosure than Roku was used to previously. Also, please do not mind that waterfall in the background that you hear, like the trickling water. It is from the new Polidarium, which I have not yet shared on this channel, but I will in a couple videos, so stay tuned for that. One more thing I wanna say before we get into this video is that Roku has merch, or there is a merch design of Roku. I'll leave it here on the screen. There's also one of my Red Eyed Crocodile Skink Fugaku, and they're both really awesome designs created by Starry Page Art on Instagram, who I'll leave a link to down below. If you're interested in Roku or Fugaku or any of the other merch designs that I currently have, I will leave a link down in the description as always for my Teespring shop. And um, in advance, thank you for checking it out. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Roku's enclosure. Oh, there is one more thing to say. The first bit of the video is going to be Roku exploring the enclosure, and the second bit is gonna be the tour. There's a tail. There's my grouchy skink right there.
there's Roku again. Out and about. Bye, beautiful. So let's do a tour, shall we? So, let's start in the back corner. We have this 3D background, and it has lots of cork tunnels. So you can see there's an entrance here. There's one in the back that has an entrance and an exit. And you can see like there's another uh, exit point up here. Focus, please. Focus, please. Thank you. An exit point here, an exit point down there. There's another one with exit and entry point here. And then another one here. The purpose for this is to make the background more interactive. Instead of just being something that Roku can climb up, Roku can also climb inside of it. And then the background also has these pieces of wood built in here and here. So this one's just kind of stuck into the wall and sticking out. Then this one has like a nice curvature and goes back into the wall. And I really like because Roku can sit here and bask or can sit here and bask or can sit there and bask. And this is a mercury vapor bulb, um, 75 watt. So it offers heat and UVB. And these are, I, I don't know what this one is, but this is a Fluker's driftwood from Chewy and so is that one. I'm pretty sure that's probably where that came from, but I got this from somebody else, so I don't know, and I've had it for a long time now. Then this is another piece of uh, Fluker's driftwood that I just had because I was supposed to be getting another animal. Never happened, so I just figured I'd put this piece in here. This just has like a little notch, so I set it on here and then it goes back into that corner and sits, okay, <laughs> and sits on the ground back there. Just offers more climbing space, more enrichment, yada yada. And then this is a plant in the middle that I hate and I will probably be replacing sometime soon. Um, so if I update this video and there's a new plant here, that's why I got this off of Amazon. It is a fake Monstera plant, I believe. And then this is from Petco, this is from Petco, that is from Amazon, that's from Amazon. And I hate that one too, so I'll probably be replacing it, but we'll wait and see. This is a water dish. It's not really a dish, but it's a container. Big enough for Roku to fit into, also to drink out of, although of course there's dirt already in it. That's just the life of having dirt in an enclosure. And then there's also a leaf in it, which is an accident. I'm going to have a um, air tube come down here that has like a little bubble wand, um, like a tiny little air stone that's gonna go in here to keep the water moving because reptiles like water that moves more than they like still water. So I'll probably do that. The substrate is bioactive. It is a mix of organic topsoil and eco earth, as well as sphagnum moss and leaf litter. The cleanup crew is springtails and dwarf white tropical isopods, which, as about like an hour ago, you could still see them, but I think they're all burrowed now. This is Roku's main cork hide. Roku loves hiding in this, so I carried it from the other enclosure into this one because obviously, why wouldn't I? Like I said, Roku loves it. And it is right above a heater. So there's a heater that goes from like right about here to the full length of the tank this way and it's like towards the middle so it's like a couple inches back and a couple inches back from the back so it's like right in the middle and it is set to 88 degrees on um, where the thermostat you can see the thermostat cord poking out the back there i did not build it into the enclosure because i'm just not about that life i know there are some people who go like super out and they'll have like a little pvc pipe that they put into their background and then cover with the expanding foam and you can't even tell it's there and they'll, you know, put their wires through. I'm not about that. I'll just, I don't really mind this little cord. Oh wait, there's a dwarf white tropical isopod. Focus, focus. Oh no, it fell over. But there's one right there. There's tons of them in this substrate because this substrate has been bioactive for almost a year now and has been going really well. There's tons of them and they're probably all freaking out right now because all their little burrows and stuff have been you know, destroyed because I had to move all the substrate out of this old enclosure into this new enclosure. Whoa, blurry. I'm also thinking about putting some rocks in here, but I haven't done it yet, so we'll see. And uh, I will come back in a couple days and update how Roku is enjoying the enclosure and if I've made any changes, that sort of thing. But yeah, that's Roku's enclosure. Pretty brilliant, huh? if I do say so myself. Oh, I forgot. There is a PVC like corner piece and then a long piece that stops about right here. You can kind of see the entrance. It's like a little tunnel. Oh, or it is a little tunnel. Anyways, and it allows Roku to like go inside and hide, but I also include this little window in case Roku wanted to say hi or 
you know, whatever. But this little window is here and then it just goes and snakes around like this. And it helps keep the water section in place instead of being thrown about by Roku's tunneling. And then it also offers just a place for Roku to go and hide. So Roku has multiple hides. There's this one, there's the cork hide, there's this cork round, there's that cork round, there's another cork round back here you can barely see. You can kind of see there's the entrance. Um, and then there's this one right here. So there's tons of hiding places, including the substrate, which is where Roku hides most of the time. And uh, lots of enrichment, lots of good stuff. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out with the exception of the plants. I'm not, I'm not too keen on them. I like these ones right here. And I like this one back here, but I'm not so sure about these two. So I'm spraying the enclosure and look who came up. Just pop right out the dirt. Also, Obella is still mad that I only gave her one worm. Do you want me to get you some food? I'll get you some food. Okay, so Roku has gone back to the house. There you are. I knew you were interested in some food. It's been a couple days because you were getting used to your new house. Don't worry, that wasn't her getting hurt by the tongs. That was just the tongs snapping. Yeah, oops. Look at that tongue. So cute. So cute. Look at that tongue. Oh my goodness. Hi, Roku, honey. You ready for another? Alright. Let me get you another. Okay, this one's a little bit smaller. Come on, camera, focus. There you go. Yum, yum. I know it's been a crazy couple of days to trying to get used to your house, huh? Yum, yum. Because I've sprayed Roku's enclosure every night, and Roku hasn't popped out of the dirt except tonight, or that little spot right there. Hi. Let me know when you're ready for the next one. One more, it's kind of large. Can you handle it? You ready? All right, it's kind of large. You got it. You give it the business. Yeah, you got it. Look at that. Taking it down like a champ. Good Roku. What a big, beautiful skink. I know, yes, that's you I'm talking about. Big, beautiful skink. Yeah, you. Look how pretty you are. Big, beautiful, skinky girl or boy. So cute. So cute. Big, beautiful skink. No, no, we're all done. You have plenty? You have plenty! You have plenty. Here, I'll go find one small one, okay? There you go, honey. I know, I'm sorry. Here you go. I'm sorry about that. I dropped my phone on top of the frog tank down below. Oh, you saw my feet there for a minute. Oof. So pretty. What pretty skink you are. Uh, 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 careful. No, no. Roku wild. Just jump right out of here. Alright, you have plenty. Go chill. Good night. So here are the replacement plants that I've decided to use, which are uh, way cheaper, actually. <laughs> there are two vines of Fluker's Pothos vines. I believe it's a full two. Actually, I think it's one and a half. I think I cut it in half. But yeah, it looks really, really good. And they're only $5 on Amazon. So, I mean, it's a win, I think. I really like them. But yeah, that's Roku's enclosure. So I replaced the ugly plants and I feel much better now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing Roku's new enclosure. I certainly had fun setting it up and watching Roku explore it. I hope you did too. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them down below in the comment section. Also, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment, and leave a like, all that good stuff. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!